In April 2021, new guidelines came into place in respect of personal injuries and how much is to be awarded. So new personal injury guidelines. And the effect of those guidelines has been to reduce the payouts for personal injuries by a significant amount of money. Now, they came into operation in April 2021 and there was a constitutional challenge from a lady in County Waterford in earlier this year. She had been awarded €3,000 for an ankle fracture when she claimed it should have been assessed under the previous book of quantum rules for between 12,000 and 21,000 more. Her case though against Payab and the various state bodies was challenging the constitutionality of the new guidelines. Her case failed. Her case failed. So the constitutionality of the new guidelines introduced in April 2021 were challenged and the case failed. In this particular case though, I've come across this morning in the Irish Times, a hospital catering assistant has challenged the new guidelines as well. She didn't bring a constitutional challenge. She brought a challenge on the basis that she really wanted uh, or felt that the award of €11,000 in general damages for soft tissue injuries which uh, she sustained after an oven fell on her in her workplace. She claimed that uh, the PIAB, the assessment board, had failed to give sufficient reasons for the proposed amount to be awarded. And she also said that, uh, well, the award was made by the board in June 2021 under the new guidelines, which have slashed awards for minor personal injuries by up to 50%. So she claimed that um, her case should be looked at again and assessed under the old guidelines and 11,000 euros simply wasn't enough. However, the uh, High Court refused to quash the decision, uh, the assessment by PIAB and declined to give an order requiring it to reconsider the application and provide written reasons concerning its use and application of the guidelines. The judge said that there was no express term in the guidelines themselves that requires a written explanation to such effect. Basically, there is nothing wrong from the court's perspective with the new reduced uh, guidelines in respect of personal injuries and this is the second claim and this is the second claim that has failed uh, to challenge the new the new uh, guidelines and the reduced the reduced payouts so most people who are paying insurance will be happy that the new guidelines are being adhered to and are constitutional and are being implemented hope you find this video useful if you do i'd appreciate it if you gave it the thumbs up down below thanks a lot